dynamis power. Holy Spirit power is a dynamis power. What is this dynamis power? I just wanted to show you. The word dynamis is used 120 times in the New Testament. Amen. Hallelujah. The word dynamis is used 120 times. And dynamis deals with the power given to the individual to perform signs and wonders. To perform miracles and to also speak in tongues and prophecy and also to give the ability to do what a man cannot do. Hallelujah. This is the dynamis power. Alright? And it talks about the strength, it talks about the ability, it talks about the physical power, it talks about the inherent power, it talks about the power that residing in you to make you able what you can be for the glory of God and the power to see the glory of God. Amen? That is called the dynamis power. And I just want to look at you. This dynamis power is a Greek word and the word dynamis is called in the Greek is a dynamo. In a, is a, it's called the dynamis. From the word dynamis English, we got the dynamo or the dynamics. So the word dynamo, dynamus or dynamis is a translation into English as a dynamo or dynamix. And then hallelujah. And that's called the dynamis power. And this is what the whole New Testament talks about. Dynamis power. Acts chapter 1, 8, you see. The dynamis power is associated with the Holy Spirit of God. You, there's no other power you can call dynamis power. And the dynamis power only belongs to the Holy Spirit of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Because I tell you the five things what this power can do a little later once I finish this. So, this power is available to everyone. From the day of the Pentecost. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to understand the word Pentecost in a very clear way. Pentecost is nothing to do with the denomination, and Pentecost has nothing to do with the sect of people who are practicing the religion. No, Pentecost is referring to the day on the day which the Holy Spirit has fallen. It is the 50th day of the ceremony of the Jewish festival. Pentecost. Oh, Pentecost. High. 50. So it's nothing to do with the religion. We made it as a religion. We made it as a Pentecostal denomination. But there's no Pentecostal denomination in the Bible. There's only one denomination. It's the generous power of God. Hallelujah. It's the power of the living God. People of God, generous power you cannot receive it unless you don't become the child of God. Generous power is not available to the world. You can have worldly power differently, but dynamis power is only confined to the word of God. And dynamis power can be received only when you receive Jesus into your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Otherwise, this power is not available to anybody. And this started working openly to the public and openly to all the religions of the world and openly to all the people of the world. You know, from the day of the Pentecost, where the Holy Spirit of God come on that 20, 120 people on the upper road when they are praying for it. Amen. Hallelujah. So the reason for the dynamic, uh, dynamic power is the Holy Spirit. Am I right? So you got to understand that worldly power cannot be compared to the dynamic power. And dynamic power is always, always connected to the Holy Spirit of God. Amen. Hallelujah.